Welcome back to our YouTube channel, where we delve into the world of sports scandals that have rocked the industry. Today, we'll be taking a deep dive into the infamous match-fixing scandal involving former professional snooker player Stephen Lee. This scandal sent shockwaves through the snooker community, raising concerns about the sport's integrity and sparking a movement for stricter regulations against corruption. Join us as we uncover the details behind Stephen Lee's downfall and the impact it had on the world of snooker. To understand the gravity of Stephen Lee's match-fixing scandal, we need to set the stage by exploring his background and rise within the world of snooker. Stephen Lee, born on October 12, 1974, in Trowbridge, England, turned professional in 1992 and quickly established himself as a talented player. He achieved significant success, earning five ranking titles and reaching a career-high ranking of fifth in the world. It was in 2013 that the snooker world was rocked by allegations of match-fixing against Stephen Lee. The World Professional Billiards and Snooker Association, WPBSA, launched an investigation into suspicious betting patterns surrounding several of Lee's matches. These patterns indicated potential manipulation of the outcomes, casting doubt on the integrity of the sport. The allegations against Stephen Lee sent shockwaves through the snooker community. Match-fixing undermines the fairness and purity of the game. It erodes the trust of fans, sponsors, and fellow players, ultimately tarnishing the sport's reputation. The WPSA conducted a thorough investigation into the allegations, which spanned over a year. The evidence against Stephen Lee was compelling, including text messages and bank transactions that indicated his involvement in match-fixing activities. In September 2013, Lee faced a disciplinary hearing to answer the charges against him. The evidence presented against Stephen Lee during the disciplinary hearing was quite damning. It showed a clear pattern of behavior suggesting that he had indeed engaged in match-fixing. The case against him was strong, leaving little room for doubt. In October 2013, Stephen Lee was found guilty on seven counts of match-fixing. The WPBSA imposed a severe punishment, banning him from professional snooker for 12 years and ordering him to pay £40,000 in costs. The repercussions of Stephen Lee's match-fixing scandal extended far beyond his own career. Let's explore the broader impact this scandal had on the sport of snooker. Stephen Lee's scandal brought the issue of match-fixing to the forefront of the snooker world. It served as a wake-up call, prompting the governing bodies to take immediate action. The incident led to the implementation of stricter regulations and the establishment of an integrity unit to combat corruption within the sport. Rebuilding trust in the aftermath of such a scandal is no easy task. Let's discuss how the snooker community worked to restore faith in the sport. The snooker community rallied together to restore faith in the sport. Players, fans, and officials emphasized the importance of integrity and fair. Play. The governing bodies adopted a zero-tolerance approach to corruption, implementing comprehensive measures to prevent and detect match-fixing. The Stephen Lee match-fixing scandal of 2013 shook the world of snooker to its core. However, it also served as a catalyst for positive change. The incident highlighted the need for stricter regulations and a renewed commitment to the integrity of the sport. Today, snooker continues to evolve, ensuring that such scandals remain in the past and the game is played on a level playing field. That's all for today's deep dive into Stephen Lee's match-fixing scandal. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the world of sports scandals. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and leave your thoughts in the comments below. Until next time, stay tuned for more captivating stories from the world of sports.